Welcome everyone, this is Bernadette and you are very welcome to this special Facebook live stream all about the five stages of an online business. So um, I think I'm a minute or two late getting started, just time got away with me a bit today. Um, but if you're here joining me, um, I am going to be sharing with you um, over the coming minutes the five key stages of an online business and why you need to know about them and how to identify what stage you're at and most importantly then what your next steps are for the stage of business that you're at. So it's my intention that our time together will be enlightening, we'll give you some real aha moments, we'll help you, um, really give you something that's going to help you move forward in your on on own online business, whether you're someone who's just starting out or thinking of starting an online business or you know you might have been in business for years like me and uh, just like me always looking for those new leverage points, those new things, those new distinctions that can make the difference. So uh, first of all, I would love it if you could type in the chat underneath um, this video, tell me your name, T well, I know your name, obviously, because it appears in the chat. Um, <laughs> can you tell I'm new to this? <laughs> um, but just tell me a bit about you and where you're coming in from and where, uh, you know, what you most want to get from our time together today. I have John assisting me, so if you see me look down here, I am looking at a chat from John who's helping me today and he's feeding your comments through to me uh, the way it works. I haven't quite figured out how to see what you're writing under the video on this yet, but we will get to it. Um, and so yeah, um, yeah, it's my intention this is really interactive. Um, thank you for allowing me into your home, your office, uh, your car, wherever you are today uh, where we're connecting. Um, and I take that privilege seriously and I really want to make sure you're getting value out of our time together. So please, the more you interact with me, the better this gets. Right, the five stages of an online business. First of all, why do you need to know about the five stages of an on online business? And first of all, how do I know that there are five stages of an online business? So if we haven't connected before, by now you know, I'm Bernadette Doyle. And uh, I have been online for 15 years. So um, this time 15 years ago, I was fascinated with the idea of making money in my sleep. And I recognized that an online business model, selling information products online, represented a way to do that. And I was excited about that, but I did not know how to translate that into my day-to-day -day reality. And frankly, I was overwhelmed and I was confused. And, um, Today, fast forward to today, and it always bugs me a little bit when people kind of do that fast forward because it's like the thing that makes, here, yeah, see if I can find a plain sheet to write this on. You know, people that say, well, you know, you start here and you go there, it's like it's a straight line, and actually in reality, it's more like this. <laughs> That's how it is. So you, you're getting the edited highlights right now, but I will, I'll, 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 I'll get real and warts and all um, in, in this, I'm sure. Um, but fast forward to today and I'm sitting before you in my home office, uh, which is where I run my business from when I'm not on vacation with my kids and then this comes with me and I'm able to, you know, work from anywhere in the world and sometimes I like to travel and mastermind with some pretty cool people around the world and so I've got a portable business in that regard. Um, so I'm sitting here before you as someone who now has a multi-million dollar online business and um, so I, I figured it out. <laughs> And I've learned some stuff along the way and I've mentored other people to do the same too because I'm passionate about sharing all of the benefits of an online business with as many people as possible for two big reasons. Um, the, the first is for you personally, the advantages of having your own online business are huge in terms of um, the freedom, the flexibility, the earning potential. And a big one, and it's a big driver for me, is being able to make a difference to more people around the world. And I'm really clear on that every day in my business. You know, my business is successful. I'm very grateful for that. And I know that that's not luck or accident that that's happened. That's been the consequences of some decisions that I've made along the way. Um, but the real reason that I do what I do is my passion is connecting people like you with the people in the world that really need your help. And that has been a business driver for me over the last 20 years. I've been in business 20 years. I know, I started when I was six, thank you. Um, all right, maybe a bit older than that. Uh, but um, that's one of the, that's what really excites me about this business, is that this, this 
uh, an online business enables you to connect with people that um, you can really truly be served by you and, it, and it's just so mutually beneficial to be able to do that so in the time that I've been online I have noticed that there are five key stages of an online business take a sip of water and um, one of the things that I want to do in this is sort of talk to you about what the five stages are and help you identify what stage you're at and why do you why is it important for you to know what stage you're at because the strategies that you need at each stage of business are different depending on where you are and sometimes what causes problems in a business is that you're trying to adopt a strategy which is for a different stage of business that you're at and so it's my intention in our time together today to give you some real clarity on, on where you're at and um, if you've been using strategies that aren't appropriate for your stage of business, give you permission and encouragement to just drop them and let them go. That would be a, a relief. Um, if there are key pieces that have been missing from your online journey so far to get you clarity around that so you know where you, what you need to address and you know really tell you about my experience of how this unfolds. So um, this five stages is not something that I came up with um, you know, in a lab. It's based on my experience and the journey that I grew through. <laughs> and I've got here today, this is my this is my journal from 2006. I was pregnant and there's notes here, the highlighted notes you can see are some things that I wrote in my journal on St. Patrick's Day 2006. But I want to share them with you because um, I, it, I was at a certain stage of business and I thought this is going to be really helpful to someone who's at the stage that I was 10 years ago. So um, yeah, I'm speaking from real experience here and also having helped people to grow an online business. Two of my clients have actually sold their businesses this year. So they, they grew their business and both of them, when they came to me, had, was really starting out from scratch um, with no, no real customers, no real business to speak, from, to, to speak of and have grown their business to a stage where, you know, it's now a standalone val valuable entity that can operate without them and they've actually been able to sell that and and um, continue their own personal journey so you know that's what's possible with all these five stages so well, I want to map them out for you and uh, give you some clarity so let's see if we've got any comments so far all right nothing nothing in the chat so far John so um, feel free as we go through this any questions you have just type them in the um, in the tech in the chat box underneath and we will be checking in with those and um, I'll be answering your questions as they come up. Okay, so the first stage of an online business is what I call the get inspired stage. And you're at this stage if you are thinking about starting an online business. So I noticed someone posted in the chat from yesterday's live stream um, that they are definitely starting a business in 2017. Um, you might be thinking about it and attracted to it, but not even sure what you would sell, who your customers would be, or you might have some clarity around what it is that you want to offer, but you're not sure right yet if, if people are really going to buy it. You probably have a lot of questions about what you need, how it works, what, you, what you're going to, um, you know, what, what exactly how to make it all happen. And so that's how, you know, if you're at this stage... And at this point, you probably don't have much of an online presence and you're at this stage if um, no money has changed hands yet. So you definitely haven't sold anything online and you probably don't have a website and uh, you may not even have a Facebook page for this new venture. But you, what you have is a desire. So one, what people seem to think that they need at this stage is they, they think, oh, well, I need to go and get my website sorted out or I'm going to need to go and create a sales funnel. And actually, it's a huge mistake to, to jump forward and do those things because what you most need at this stage of business is you need to get clear on who you're going to serve, how you're going to serve them, and, um, and, and whether there really is a market willing to pay for what you want to offer. If you try to dive into getting an online business started without checking off some of those key questions, it is like trying to build a skyscraper with no foundation. Yeah, it's going to fall down. So it's really important to spend time getting really clear and on, on who it is you're going to serve. Because in any business, 
what matters in a, is in a business and the reason that money changes hands in any business, any business, online or offline, is because value is being created and provided by the seller and the perception of the buyer is that the money they're exchanging for that value is uh, you know, of lesser value than their value they're receiving. So you really need to establish that there's a group of people who are really um, willing to, to pay for what you want to offer. So Masroor, I can see you've joined us. Welcome Masroor. And he's asking, how can I start an online business? And so what I'm talking about right now is the key questions that you need to ask, ask yourself Masroor. Who, you know, what is it that I'm going to offer? What, where is the value? What is the need in the world that I'm going to fulfill? Who has that need? How do I know they have that need? What is it that I can do for them? How is what I'm going to offer going to be different from other options available? Why should they buy this from me as opposed to anyone else? Are they able to pay the prices that I want to charge for this? And are they willing to pay it? And there's something you need to do at this stage that I call proof of concept, which is where you really test the viability of your idea. So before you invest too much of your time, money and heart into getting something started, you know that it's viable. And that's important because everything I just talked about there, your time, your money, that you, your heart, they're all important. They all deserve to be protected. And I have, unfortunately, witnessed heartbreaks around online business in the time that I've been online. And honestly, <laughs> I've experienced a bit of it myself. But every single time it's because I've gone into a venture without, without doing what I just told you to do to test the viability. So this stage of business, the important things for you to focus on beyond those questions is really just getting clarity and getting confidence. So if you recognize that you're at the get inspired stage of business, type in the box below and you'll also want to check out the webinar replay that we are linking to on this page because I did a webinar on this last week where not only did I cover all the five stages of business, I actually went into more detail about how you get clear on some of those questions, how you start to identify your audience, how you grow your list, more things that I'll be talking about on the call tonight. So um, that's the get inspired level. So the next stage of an online business is, I'm not doing this for anticipation, I'm really thirsty, I need a drink. The next stage of an online business is the get going stage. And you are at this stage if you have started to establish an online presence and maybe you've even started to grow your list. Maybe you have a Facebook page, you may or may not have a website, but you're really just starting to get established, You, but you may or may not have actually made any a, a sale yet, an online sale. Um, you may or may not have uh, launched your first product or have your first offering, um, but you're, you're, you're kind of in that area. And so, the get, in, the get going stage represents everything from when you start to grow your list all the way through to having made a f your first few thousand online. That's if you're if you recognize that you're at the get going stage. Now, the key things to do at this stage are exactly that to get going, because this point is now you've had your idea at the get inspired stage. You have tested it out. Now it's time to start getting some real world results. So. This is quite fun stage, actually, because it, this is all about putting things into action. It's about growing your list. It's about raise it, getting a group of people to raise their hands. And the reason that you really need to focus on that at this stage is because the list is the most important asset you will grow in an online business. And if you have a list of people who've raised their hands, you can actually um, make profits from that list even before you have your own profit, your own product. And the reason you can do that is because you can actually, when, when you have a group of people who know, like, and trust you, you can, actually, um, you, you can actually make recommendations to them and earn commissions for recommending products that you believe in that would be valuable to your audience. So again, do you hear that again? It's about providing value. It's just recognizing that the value can come through your recommendation. It doesn't have to be something that you personally are providing. So um, at this stage, it really is important to focus on growing your list and really to stay on track. Now, the danger at this stage is that you may be distracted by many bright, shiny objects. And so the one thing I say to my clients who are at this stage is get them on the list, get them to the sales page, get them on the list, get them to the sales page. So it really is about focusing on list building at this point. 
That means identifying where your target audience is hanging out in large numbers and getting your message in front of those people in such a way that they then want to come and join your list. Another key thing that you'll need at this stage of business is you are going to need something called a lead magnet. And I'm not going to go into this so much on in our call tonight, but again, I covered that on the webinar. And on the webinar, I actually talked about the four key things that you need if you want to grow your list. So if you recognise that you're at this stage, you really want to come and sign up for the replay of that webinar. John is putting the link in the chat underneath this and um, come and sign up for the webinar and uh, I'll be able to tell you more about growing your list. OK, so the next stage of business is um, what I call get smart. And you are at this stage if you've been on you're online and you've made some money online now you made some money online might be just a couple of thousand dollars but you know it's more than your mum and your cat that have bought from you you've done something you've created a product you've made some sales but it you're not right yet at the volume of sales that you need and possibly what you're experiencing at this point is the highs and lows emotionally and in your bank account and I define the, the sort of the real feeling at this stage of business at least it was for me is frustration because at this point you've figured out enough of the steps and, and let's face it a lot of the steps to take to go from idea to testing out the concept to identifying who you're going to serve all of those things that you had to do at the get inspired level to the get going level of then actually going out and starting to grow your list and, and build relationships and actually making some sales, getting a product launch. Guys, if you've, if you've done all of that so far, you've already done enormous amounts in your business and I really congratulate you for that. However, um, if you feel like I did at this stage, you're probably feeling a lot of frustration and I wanted to, um, I've lost my page now. Let's flip through it. Luckily, I, I put some uh, green highlighter on it because I, I literally just came across this journal. I've always journaled. And so this is my nighttime scribblings to myself, my early morning scribblings to myself and, you know, different ideas and things, you know, that are important to me at times. And um, I just was drawn to this yesterday, and which I don't take as a coincidence either. But I, I uh, when I started to go through it, I was like, oh my God, I've forgotten I felt like that. But this is from 2006, so it's um, over 10 years ago now. And I was expecting my first son and my business was at the Get Smart, Smart Sale. And this is what I'd written. I can't seem to break through to the next level. I've had problems keeping my income up. So my income was very up and down. Um, I suppose I'm on the point of some sort of breakthrough. So a little bit of mindset keeping me going there. I have to be when I feel like this. I don't understand why sales drop so dramatically in March. So at this stage of business, if you're experiencing feast and famine in your online business, my, you're almost certainly at the get smart level. And um, yeah, as I say, frustration is the big thing. So what's important at this point is, um, first of all, getting really clear on what you want from your business, on, on how you want your business to be. Now, I want to make the distinction that there is a difference between knowing what you want and thinking of the best route to get there. Because often when I say to someone, well, tell me what you want. What's your vision for your online business? Someone will say, well, I want to have a membership site. I want to have a membership site where I've got recurring income. And my answer to that is um, that's not actually your end vision. That's your best guess right now of how to get there. And, and it may not necessarily be the best way to achieve what you ultimately want. So the key thing at this stage is to get really, really super clear on where you are and where you want to be in, in regards to your business. Now, the next thing to recognise is the very fact that you're at this stage and you've progressed through the first two stages of an online business means you are doing something that is working, right? If people have taken their credit cards out and they've paid you their hard-earned money, you are doing something right, my friend. That is not a fluke. You, you, there's a code that you've cracked. And so even if you're not conscious of exactly what that code is, you've done something, you know, you've, you've done something that many other people just fantasize about and never get done. So if you're at the get-going level, the, the key is to, is to identify what is working in your business 
but then really ask yourself whether this is the best thing to take you where you really want to go. Now, the challenge at this stage is you don't know what you don't know. An analogy that I think of for this is, let's say that, you, you, that you're at the bottom of a mountain and you want to climb a mountain. And, you know, you, you walk around the mountain and you, you look up to try and determine what the best route is. And even after, you know, looking around, you determined that this route in forward you is the, is the best way up. So you start climbing the mountain. What you didn't see is that actually there was an easier route for you, but there was a bush that was that was blocking that that from view and you just couldn't see it because of the shape of the mountain. When you get to the top of the mountain, looking back, your perspective has changed because suddenly you can see you can see lots of different potential routes up the mountain. And from this standpoint, you can see all of the things that uh, all of the different routes. And This is the best point to make the best choice. And I think this is the one of the things that, you know, makes growing a business a challenge for us is that we're trying to make decisions about what's the best way, but we don't always have the right information to make that decision. That is why it is so useful to get mentors. I, I absolutely would not have broken through this stage of business if I hadn't have gone and got myself a mentor. So if you are at this stage and you recognise that this is where you're at, like that, that is my best advice to you. Is, is get yourself a mentor, go and find someone who has made the journey that you want to make and and soak up everything they can teach you. Go and, if you can, ask them to help you get clear on your best route to where you want to, to go. That investment in a mentor of your time or money will pay off many fold. And in fact, without, without that investment, without going to a mentor, there's a good chance you're not, you're not even going to make it up the mountain. But if you do, unless you're really lucky, you'll you'll be making it up the mountain um, in a harder way than needs to be. And if you if you if you can relate to that frustration that I was talking about, then you you haven't picked the easiest route. <laughs> you definitely haven't picked the easiest route. So that is the get smart stage. So um, the other thing about the get smart stage, I don't know why, but I just feel. I want to talk about the stage more today. I haven't always done um, when I've talked about these five stages, but for some reason I, it feels important to talk about it today. The other thing at this stage is it's not just about picking the right strategy to get where you want to go. It's then also about how you work that strategy. So the, it, it all comes down to how you are personally showing up in your business every day. You know, are, are you the employee that you would hire? Are you a ray of sunshine? Are you the source of uh, positivity and focus? Are you productive? Are you efficient? Now, you, no, please notice these two things work together because if you don't have the right strategy and you're, but you're productive and efficient, you're just gonna be really productive and efficient at doing the wrong stuff. So you need to get the strategy and then you need to work on your productivity and efficiency. And in my experience, at this stage of business, that is about both you personally and how to make sure that you're focusing on the things that make the difference, that are make, where you can make the biggest difference. But it's also um, maybe um, hiring help. Maybe this is the stage where you need to start outsourcing. You need to start delegating some of the things that aren't your zone of genius that other people could do better from you than you. So that is the get smart stage. And if you are at the get smart stage, please type in the box below. I haven't seen any feedback so far about what stage of business that you're at. Do you see yourself as being the get inspired stage, the get going stage, the get smart stage? And if you don't, uh, um, if you recognize yourself at any of those stages, I really want you to come and join me um, on the webinar replay of the webinar that I did last week. And um, where I talked about these stages in turn, and then talked more about the specific strategies for each stage of business. So the next stage of uh, business, once you break through um, the Get Smart stage, and it really is a breakthrough, where suddenly things go from feeling like struggle, 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 to suddenly things are flowing again. And um, there's, a, there's a phrase from Napoleon Hill that defines this, and he says, um, when the riches come, they come in such abundance that, that you wonder where they've been hiding all the lean years. And that breakthrough to the get altitude level, that is how it feels. It just feels like a tremendous relief after all of that frustration. And suddenly, now you're making consistent profits online. So the thing to do at this point is you really want to streamline and refine. And you want to get that business operating like a whale oiled machine. And you, the way to do that is through a proper team. 
So one mistake that I see people making with outsourcing in an online business is that um, they have people helping them, but actually it's like all, all lines of communication still come through the business owner and that's exhausting. And so at the get altitude stage, you're starting to shift in your business to uh, whereas previously you might have had a lot of involvement in the direction of the business, in the marketing of the business, possibly even bringing in sales to the business, you're now shifting much more into a leadership role. You are doing much more of where you're, you're just showing up to do the things where you add most value to the business. And you're just you're surrounding yourself by a high performing, high caliber t team that is um, cross-functional as well so that they, they can get things done without you. In fact, you'll know you're at this stage because you'll have people who say, could you please just get out of the way because we can do it better when you're not here interfering. <laughs> this is what someone said to me at this stage of business. So um, get altitude is really, this is the time to really think about how your overall organisation is working. So at the get smart level, there's been a lot of focus on the marketing and at the get altitude level, it really is about looking at the whole business and really making sure that you've got the structures in place and at this stage, the nice thing about the get altitude stage is you, you suddenly have a lot more time. So this is the, the time at the start of the business where you really can start to feel the payoff and the freedom in the business because the, the effort that you put in at the lower levels, um, you're experiencing it here. Now, just in saying that, I've probably debunked a myth that you may have heard about online marketing because there are people who will tell you, oh, you want to be in an online business? Yeah. Great, you're going to be able to sit on a beach, sipping pina coladas, you know, checking your sales and um, and and basically doing whatever you want and the money's rolling in. Well, I don't know of any business where you can do that. You know, I've been in business for 20 years and I don't know of any business where you can achieve that kind of results without effort. So... It doesn't have to be hard work. It doesn't have to be a struggle. It will be hard work and a struggle if you're doing it without guidance. But um, the it, 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 it's effort more than work, if that makes sense. So, um, hi, Sally. Nice to see you here. Sally's saying that she's at the Get Inspired level. And we're looking forward to zooming you through those stages in as fast as possible, Sally. Sally's actually someone who um, I'm going to be mentoring over the coming months and years and I'm really excited about being part of your journey um, Sally so um, the next stage of business is what I tongue-in-cheek call get out and uh, this is the stage of business where you could actually step away from the business entirely and it would run as smoothly or possibly even better without you I was very influenced years ago when I read a quote from Robert Kiyosaki who wrote the book rich dad poor dad and he said, um, if, you don't have, if you don't have a business where you can go away for three months and when you come back, it's running better without you, you don't have a business, you have a job. And most people who have an online business are experiencing it as a job. It's like they couldn't step away from the business because the business would fail if they weren't there. Sometimes that's happening because they are literally subsidizing the business. The free labour that they're providing the business is what's keeping it going. It's not actually a viable business because they haven't answered the key questions that I told you about at the Get Inspired level. So, um, if, um, so if you can recognise yourself at any of these stages, what you need to do is come and join us uh, on the webinar. That It's a replay of a webinar I did last week where I talked about these five stages and talked more about how you progress from each stage and we specifically talked about um, growing your list and how to get more traffic to your websites and how to increase your value per subscriber and crucially the metrics that you absolutely must focus on to grow your business whatever stage you're at and if you're um, interested in the metrics I'm also going to be covering that on the live stream that we do tomorrow night so the get out stage is where you could either um, step away from the business like showing up as and when you need to so you, where, where you're in it because you choose to be. Like the big thing about the get out stage is choice. You could either sell or you could just, you know, be as in, in or out of the business as you want. So those are the five stages of business. Um, Lisa is saying, thank you for doing this. I think I'm just starting your get going stage. That's great, Lisa. And if you have any questions about, you know, what your focus needs to be or anything that's really um, 
starting up for you like feel feel free to ask them while i'm here um and also i'd love it if you would sign up for the webinar um because like there's a lot of content that would really help you because one of the key things at the get going stage is about growing your list by the way guys growing your list is essential at every stage of an online business um and it is the most important asset that you can develop in your online business is a list of people who know like and trust you and when i talk about this list I don't mean a following on Facebook. I don't mean how many Twitter followers you have or how many people are following you on Instagram. I mean people who have actually given you their email address and are willing to receive emails from you where you're sharing content, providing ideas, and that enables you then to make offers to them. That email list is crucial. And one of the things that helped me when I was starting out was the, 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 that I knew from my previous offline business that I needed to grow a list of prospects and I thought okay well that worked for me offline so I'm going to make sure I do that online as well and I think that's one of the reasons why I was able that I've been able to build the business I have so my intention is to shortcut you to the strategies that are going to make a difference but without overwhelming you because what happens is sometimes um people are trying to operate a stage of business that they're not at yet so for example um let's talk about webinars so I would say webinars are very important and, and actually it's like probably the most, one of the first things that I would do with someone who's at the Get Smart stage is go, right, let's, let's, let's get you a webinar and let's get you um, a webinar that really sells and let's put that in place as a system inside of your business so you know with certainty every person who joins your list, you know what percentage of them are going to buy and how much they're going to spend with you like almost like number one thing we need to do at the get at the get um get smart stage but if someone is trying to do webinars and they're still at the get inspired level or the get going level it's 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 going to overwhelm it's overwhelming there's there's more that you need to establish at the get going level before you're ready for that step and i i want to share this with you because sometimes if you take a, a if you try and use the strategy in your business and you're not ready for that strategy, it normally doesn't turn out well. And then what do we do? As well, we blame ourselves often. Or we, we might blame we might blame the strategy. Well, that doesn't work for my business. And actually, it might be something that will, would work, you know, very well at the right time. Or it might be that you're blaming yourself and you go, "Oh, well, it's me. There must be something wrong with me." Or you know, nobody wants what I'm offering. Or you know, I'm I'm not good. I'm not good at selling. Or my my emails are bad. My copywriting's bad. It's like we tell ourselves all of these stories. It's not the truth. <laughs> the truth is, you're attempting to do something at a stage of business that's different to where you're at. So um, yeah, come along. To, come along to the um, to the webinar. And um, yeah, if you you feel like you're growing your list is your next step as well, Lisa. Yeah, absolutely. So yeah, let, come on over to the webinar because. There's, in the webinar, I share with you the four things that you absolutely must focus on to grow your list and um, talk to you about how you can get those created in the shortest possible time that I do to get traffic to my websites that then I help to, that grows my list. And um, I'm going to show you something that I created in six minutes and um, I then uploaded it and it took me about another six to ten minutes to upload it. But it's something that brings a steady stream of people joining my list every single day. And it's something that I did three years ago, haven't touched it since, and yet it brings people to me every single day. Um, because one of the things that I love about an online business is that you can do the work once and get paid, 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 paid. So I'll, I'll show you specifically what that strategy is in the webinar. So make sure you come over and sign up for that. So I think that is it for, um, for our live stream today. Um, I hope that was helpful. I hope I have given you something to think about. Um, I would love to know what your next step is. Uh, would love to hear your comments in the chat below. And um, yeah, I hope that you'll be able to come and join us on the webinar uh, where I've got more content for you. And also just to let you know that this live stream is one of six that I'll be doing this week. And you definitely have to come to Saturdays, Saturday at 1pm UK time because I have a, I have a surprise for you. <laughs> <laughs> that you are not going to want to miss so you have to be there for saturday but honestly i hope you'll enjoy you'll join me for all of them and yeah you know keep the questions coming because as i say i'm here to serve so that is it from me um thank you for being here and i look forward to seeing you for our live stream tomorrow where i will be talking about the two metrics for growing your online business but if you can't wait to hear about them go and sign up for the webinar you can watch the replay now